Hey guys. Hey Dominic. Hey Lone. Hey Riddick. Okay, we're going to uh <laughs> interesting thumbnail. Yeah, I just needed like a I needed to create a thumbnail which you know like players they always mix weapons up. So this is going to be like a hangers review, except I've just called it robot reviews because sometimes players don't have a question about the entire hanger. It's just like a robot. Well, I guess it could be a Titan or like I'm seeing Mothership in the uh, the chat. Hi, Dane. Hi, Safar. Uh, Shin. Uh, Speedy Reaper. Azuki. Usman. Momo. Uh, Bronson, uh, Mike, uh, VF, missing a lot of names. So welcome to the live stream. Hey Naraku. Okay, so we're gonna do like, I guess I'm gonna do something like gameplay and then, you know, every couple after like, a, like one or two games review like stuff on Reddit. Um, I have got a link. Uh, which is in the uh, pinned comment which will direct you to my reddit post so if you can take like a screenshot and you know just pretty much mention what you're struggling with um what i can do here is hold on a second okay so let's see if i can go to reddit Hopefully this shows up okay. You guys can see this, right? I think you can. Oh wait, why can't I see my... Oh, there we go. So now you can see my cursor. Hopefully. So this is usually what I do. Um, not all the time in the morning, but when I do have time. Um, if you go by the filter by Flare. I kind of use this as sort of like a table of contents thing. But there is hanger advice. And I did make a post earlier. Uh, we have actually a couple of posts here, but what I could do is let's review this hanger. Why not? <laughs> I should do this. You know, and I was thinking of turning this into like every Sunday. I uh, I kind of review whatever's in the uh, the hanger advice thing and try to help you guys out. So I don't know what you guys think of that idea. You can let me know. Uh. Typhon or Erebus? Both of them can be pretty good. Um, I find that if you have a lower level, like Typhon versus lower level Erebus, I think the Typhon's actually stronger. Um, the Aegis, the Aegis shield rather, of the Typhon wraps around the body of the Typhon. The Erebus, it doesn't do that. So if you get hit by like a shell or like um, a Hellburner, and you're in a Typhon and your shield is up, you're not going to actually take any damage until your shield is down. The Erebus, you'll take damage with that blast. Okay, so let's click on this. Hanger advice. Oh, he's got two. No, he's showing his resources, but I don't want to see that because it doesn't really matter. <laughs> I, don't, I don't really need to see how much resources, but I guess he felt he needed to show that. So I'm going to look at this hanger. Someone actually asked me, how do I look or how do I tell whether something is balanced? Uh, usually what I do first, I look to see how much range they have in the hanger. Now this doesn't like, I understand players play TDM. I understand you play like you might play free for all. Um, but for the ones that play domination or beacon rush, especially, I usually look at range. So in this case, you can see we've got uh, Gecko and Prisma, so we've got some range here. We've got another range bot here. And then we've got Scatter, Thunder, Toxin, uh, Ignite to Thunder Freedom, okay. So what I would, uh, okay, wait, I'm looking at the Miramids. They've got Cataclysm, Kisten. Ooh. Got some interesting stuff going on here. <laughs> it's kind of like my thumbnail. Okay, so first of all, Usually what I do is, um, if you're playing especially Beacon Rush or Domination, I always try to focus on my tanks first because in the event that the enemy does get to my spawn, I must be able to defend, uh, you know, pretty much my spawn. So out of these bots, which one 
for me is like a tank so it's a Fenrir this is the one that I will actually start building up first although I noticed like their robot levels and their weapon levels are all over the place their robot levels are higher than their weapons too which is also a bad thing uh, so what I would do um, pick the highest level so just say level 8 move all of your robots to level 8 and then start focusing on your um, your tank first so in this case it's going to be the Fenrir you've got Igniter Thunder uh, I would build um, you know an ember and strengthen this and get those weapons all the way up to level 9 or 10 so at least one or two levels above your 8 and then after you do this build up your next tank which is going to be your either your shell or your demeter shell makes more sense so i would do that uh, maybe build like a, a devastator and another scatter level those up and then you move on to your next uh, kind of tank or even like a you know maybe range you want to do you could always work from there and then do it that way but i always focus on my brawlers first because I'm telling you right now guys if you don't do that and the enemy gets to your spawn you're gonna burn through <laughs> a lot of bots and you know once they start dying like you're just gonna it's like one after the other thank you uh thank you uh ion hi adrian how how am i i'm doing great thanks i hope you're doing well hi goose so yeah you can see how this player is mixing up weapons and it might be that they just don't have those weapons you know they're still building it but that's what I would do. Um, for this kind of build here, you guys can see he's got Havoc, Havoc, Scatty. I would build another Havoc, level up the, the Havocs, and then um, just trying to think of the Scatty. You know what? I don't think I would use it uh, yet based on what I'm seeing here. If it was a Snare or a Hell, then maybe on the Hawk. That's what I would do. Since this is a low level Rachi, the Hell I think makes sense, but uh, he really needs to focus on those weapons. It's going to make a huge difference. Okay, so let's just go back here. Uh, toxin? I'm not sure. What is this supposed to be? What? Toxin, please. I guess he's just saying that he needs another toxin. Okay. <laughs> I'm not sure what that's about, but okay. Yeah, let's see. Oh, we've got a hanger pick. Uh... Could suggest some setups, pilot skills in this one, and was hoping you could replace your Scorpion Ravana. Also, Leo. Uh, let's see. Oh, wait. Is this the one that was asking me about the Leo earlier? If you have to choose three Havoc on Demeter or on Ravana, uh, Ivan, either, either one of them actually works. You know, I've been killed by both of those when I'm in a Revenant. So the thing is, it's the weapons. Okay, let's see. Hold my breath. Okay. Oh man, this is kind of tiny. Uh, okay, so we've got S Scorpion with Storm and Gust. We've got a Leech with Tyrants. Scaddy Scourge. Okay. Avenger. And a Leo with Bane and Magnum. Okay. Uh, Miramets. Vengeance, Crate, Vengeance. Okay, your Miramets can actually work. Um, what you need to do is, okay, I guess your Leo is your tank. I think overall your builds actually aren't that, that bad. You just need to work on like your weapons and stuff. What I recommend like for your Scorpion, I would move away from the Storm and Gust. Build your Havoc and Scatters instead. Because I think uh, you're in, yeah, you're in Diamond League. You want to start working towards uh, like especially uh, Sonic weapons because you're going to start seeing more Revenants and Tanks. And those weapons are really good at dealing with like tanky bots. And I think you you asked me about the Bane and Magnum. I guess this could work. I don't know if um this is not a build that I would run in Champion League though. So what I would do with the Leo, level up the Bane. Don't level up the Magnums too much. I think that would be a bad idea because uh, these Magnums aren't going to be really helpful later on. Um, I can tell you what weapons out of what you have here that I would focus on though that works in Champion League. Uh, Bane, um, Scaddy weapons, and uh, yeah, those pretty much. The Tehran, you could actually technically put it on a Favnia too. I'm trying to think um, how much range. You've got actually quite a bit of range here too. Yeah, I think... Uh, if you go... So what you could do with the Leo... 
If you go Bane, maybe build Blaze. So I would do I would do that. But I think you need to kind of move into more close range and like the Havoc and Scatter is going to help with this build. Your Miramet is fine. I think just keep working at it. Uh, level up those uh, weapons I mentioned. You want to focus on the newer weapons. Um, is this my baby account? No, no, no. This is not my baby account. I'm taking a look at uh, your, your hangers. Uh, oh. You guys have other questions here, so uh, let's see. Um, so this viewer here, I can't check your uh, your hanger because you're on iOS. Uh, right now, I'm I'm on Android, so I can't see your hanger. This is why I asked to put screenshots. Okay, so uh, civil general, can I explain the build and tactics for using uh, the anti? Bavnia Hawk. Okay, so I actually have that right now in my hangar. So let's just go back to that screen. Let's just go back here. So this is like, and I will run this. Uh, you know what? We can actually play a game now. I'll just show you what I have. So we've got uh, the Hawk, and I'm going to be actually doing a video on this, which is interesting. Hi, 17. Okay, so we got the Hell and Snare on here. I've got two nuclear amplifiers, Last Stand. We've got Shield Breaker because remember the Favnir, when it takes takes off, it has that Absorber Shield that's trying to absorb the damage. Well, it can't absorb the damage from me because I have Shield Breaker. So I'm going to get it through the shield and it won't absorb that damage. Uh, we have the Cow Rogers Pilot. So this is the best pilot for the Hawk because it stops suppression and lockdown when you are in flight. Those are the pilot skills. Um, and then we're going to take a look at the drone now because that's really important too. Okay, so I'm going to be running the paralysis. This is a lockdown drone. And yes, I do realize I have a lockdown a chip. It's more so that I can lock players down quickly so they can't escape. I have on module use damage because this way when I use my shield breaker, it's going to increase my damage by 18% per chip. So I have two of these. And we have the on mile damage absorber. Okay, so I'm going to actually run a game now. I'll show you what I have in terms of my, my bots here. We'll just do this really quick. I might switch things up. Actually, wait, what? Uh... Let's see range range uh we can probably this is more beacon rush i hope i don't crash here because i have a lot of like i was saying earlier i have a lot of um windows open on my on my desktop usually not good for an emulator when you have so many like programs you're more likely to crash uh oh you actually put a pic of your hanger right below my comment I'll have to refresh uh, that page. Maybe it didn't show up. Okay, Beacon Rush. We've got to get our beacons first here. Um, I'm going to go for this one here because we don't have um, this beacon. We have two players on the right. Two went to the left. That is bad right there. I'll show you why it's bad. Because now they both rush to the same beacon. And now I'm on their home beacon. He's gone. I'm going to get this beacon. If this guy... Is there another guy? Yep, we got it. It's too late, dude. My my whole team can spawn in here now. Yep, here comes the tanks. Whoa! Holy shoot. <laughs> that guy pushed me. This guy got off the beacon too. And that guy got blown onto this beacon. Man, that's crazy. This beacon's open. Um, okay. Hold on. I don't... Did they have any... Uh, far, this guy's moving pretty fast. That might be a Favner, actually. Let's drop in with the Hawk. Let's see. No, it's not. I just saw him. Holy shoot. That guy's moving fast. Wait a minute. Is that guy running a hack? This guy's hacking. That shell is moving way too fast, dude. That guy is a hacker. There's no way a shell moves that fast. Yep, hacking. 
I, I thought something looked weird on the other side. I was looking at that. Okay, so we're dealing with a hacker here. I need to focus now. I can't let that guy win. Okay, um, what I need to do is we need to push beacons. I'm gonna see if I can just keep pushing beacons. I need to put that, keep that pressure on. Come on, get onto that beacon, dude. Get onto that beacon. There we go. Holy shoot. Okay, so that guy, he has the uh, blast. I wonder if I start recording now. I hope this doesn't cause any lag for you guys because I am recording here. That guy just blast <laughs> Holy shoot. If there's lag, apologies. I'm trying to record at the same time. Where is he? He's on the right side. By the way, if you are on red team, make sure that you catch that uh, that hacker and report him because otherwise he's just going to run rampant. Hoping that my team would push. But I think I think that guy wiped out my whole team. Okay. Uh we have to. What is this guy in? Is this the guy that's in the the hacker? Trying to uh, heal up here. Where did he go? Oh, come on! Wait a minute, where is that guy? Oh, shoot! Oh, crap, I'm getting killed! Where did that guy go? I don't see him anymore. Oh, he's there. Hold on. This guy. Yeah, it's this, uh, this guy. I think he's on Steam. Look at how his Fenrir is moving. What's the review on the uh, Cinder? So the Cinder weapon works better on Titans that can move fast. So like Minos, uh, Luchador, I think are the main ones. I wouldn't put it on something like an Arthur. I wonder if this guy knows that we're streaming. It's so obvious, dude. And I saw his shell. We have a Wick player. I, I think I'm pretty sure that Wick player knows. Look how he's moving. Yeah, but he this he was doing this he he was doing this in his shell too. He is in Clan Uma. Yeah, that's not the real China. The China that you guys are thinking uh, is on... <laughs> Look how his 5D is moving. 
The China that you you guys are thinking is on iOS. This guy is they're just like copycats. He's wearing Michael Jackson shoes. <laughs> okay, hold on a second. I'm actually recording all of this too. Uh, and he is on Android. You can see the uh, that ID there. Hold on a second. But he's, you know what? Here's the thing too. This guy was squatting, right? Was he squatting? No, he wasn't. Because usually when, when they squat, there's usually uh, like... If there's one, there's more. So I think they should investigate that whole clan. Red Steel. Ah, we have another... So we actually have a couple in the chat who are in like touch with Pixonic in the same chat as a developers. So I kind of caught this guy red-handed during a live stream too. So I don't need any more evidence than that. <laughs> Busted. Still hacking and yeah, they can't. So there was a bug where players were using other players accounts so they couldn't be tracked, but Pixonic actually patched up that bug. So these guys can actually get caught now because they can't, uh, you know, their pilot ID is like static. See, we run into him again. Okay, so I'm going to drop in with that Hawk. Uh, when I see like a lot of Favnias, we see one already on this uh, left side. Uh, this is Beacon Rush, so we need to get into the center here quickly. I know this guy's a strong player. They usually run maxed out bots. Yeah, where's the rest of my uh, team here? Trying to get this guy down to his last stand so he doesn't survive in center, otherwise he's going to get this beacon. Guys, guys, I need your help. Thank you. Okay, so... I was going to say, my teammates didn't even uh, drop in there. What I could do is I could actually uh, see if I can maybe teleport. Teleport behind behind there. Clear out this area of all the campers. So, at the start of the stream, you know why I said you got to focus on your brawlers? Do you see why? When the other team gets really aggressive and they start pushing, you don't have a way to defend against it. If you're running too much range, we see a lot of Favnirs now, so I was kind of waiting for that. Wait until they have all their Favnirs in, and then I'm going to uh, drop in with my Hawk. Trying to uh, see if I can fire to the left of that guy, so he goes into my flames. go Ooh. holy jeez there's a lot of Favnias here I'm surprised I'm still alive These guys are losing a lot of bots too. So what happens when you hang back, man? What the heck? Just cover me. 
the heck is that guy doing all the way on the right side? Is there something on that side that I'm not seeing or what? <laughs> That's weird. You guys see that? What kind of weird things going on in this uh, live stream? Okay, so a couple of guys flying here. I wouldn't be surprised if these are Favnias. We're going to drop in with the Hawk and let's see if we can try to snipe them. Although I think they've landed. What is this? That looks like a Typhon? I think they're going to... Uh, that guy's going to teleport. Sometimes what I do is if I know a guy's going to teleport, I start looking over the edge in the hopes that they teleport and go over the edge. Uh... Okay, we're going to go into a flight here. Use shield breaker on this guy. I should have dropped my hawk in maybe first. Yeah, that guy's in a lot of trouble. Interesting what's going on here. Let's try to take this guy out. Hey, Rock. Looks like he's tanking. Well, we can find out. Might have to change the live stream. <laughs> Running into a tankers. Oh, we can't see. Can't see their stats. Okay, let me run. Um, you know what? Let's play domination. Maybe there's more Favnias there. It gives me more time to kind of demonstrate that build. I wanted to demonstrate that build on Favnias. That's the whole <laughs> point of that question that someone asked. And then we'll take a look at some more um, like hangers. if I see any flying jump no no okay <laughs> I was waiting to see if I could find any Favnias in flight and then I was gonna drop in with a hawk I don't see any they do however have a camper back there Take their camper out first. Corrosion's gonna finish him off, right? Yep. Now, uh, you know what? We're gonna keep that guy. I'll deal with him later. Ah, there's two of them. Okay, perfect. I don't want to actually kill this guy. Yeah, oh, wait. I'll deal with him now. So wait, why is my team giving up all the beacons back there? What's going on? I'm going to drop in with my, um, my hawk next. Because they have a they have a fog near. Uh where did that guy go? Did he get killed already?
Shield breakup. I didn't even know what that guy was in. What was that? Nope. Man, I drop in and now I don't see that Favnia anymore. You shield break on this guy. Got him. There's a guy on my left flank. What is this guy in here? Oh, you know what? I think that's the... Uh, I think that's a Fenrir. Let's try to stay the same height as this guy. Trying to help out my teammate here. Come on. Okay, I'm gonna start getting a little bit more aggressive here because we need to get more beacons. I have locked this guy down. Oh shoot, Nightingale. We need to push this guy off. We need to get this beacon quick. Someone's shooting me from behind. Okay, let's just do that. Trying to get close, they dropping in with her. There's gonna be a lucha door here soon. I killed the other the other guy on the other side of the wall there. But this guy's gonna kill me. I'm gonna see if I can maybe suppress. No, he's got anti-control. Uh, we're gonna be in a lot of trouble here. Oh shoot, I crashed. <laughs> yeah, more trouble than I wanted to. Okay, hold on a second, guys. <laughs> Frederick, push him off. Push him off. That was so funny on the test server. I EMP'd that guy. Um... Okay, we're going to take a look actually at uh, Reddit, seeing that we uh, crashed there. Uh, let me just go back to my post. And uh, guys, if you have any questions, in the uh, pinned comment, I have a link to my Reddit post. Uh, if you could put like a screenshot of your hangar or like your robot that you might be having a trouble with, so I can take a look at it. Um, let's just see. So let's just refresh this. I see a link here. Is this the one that I checked out earlier? Uh, I 
Okay, so we've got a Miramet. Uh, let's see. Miramet with Vengeance Retaliator. This works. Let's see. Falcon with Ember. Is this a T Falcon? Guessing not. Bane Blaze Scatter. Natasha with Magnetos Nair. Incinerator. Hell. Uh, whoa, this is quite a... <laughs> that's quite... But you know what? You've got your range, so I guess it does work. Okay, so what I would do... Uh, get, get your robots to level 8. Don't upgrade it more than what you have here, because you need to really start working on your weapons. Because once again, your robot is a uh, higher level than your weapons. So while you might survive a bit longer, you're not really doing damage. You're actually giving the enemy more silver by doing this. So I wouldn't do it this way. What you could do is get maybe everything to level 6 and leave it there. And then focus on your weapons. Um, Glacier Rhyme works on the shell. I wouldn't use the Magnum. Maybe build another Rhyme. And that would work. Uh, your, your Natasha, you've got... Hell... You know what? I guess this could work. But you want it, you want to, okay, so you want to focus on the Shell uh, Revenant and then the Falcon and do the Natasha last. Uh, Bane, Blaze, Scatter, I guess this could work, but, you know, I prefer going with Blaze to Blaze. More because the way that you play Scatter versus, like, Blaze or Bane is very different. So one, you have to kind of lead the target. The other one's, like, direct fire. So um, if you keep the same style of weapons... Or the same mechanics it will help with your aiming so uh, that's what i would do over here uh the falcon with ember can work too I'm trying to see like what else you could run here i mean you've got you've got a bit of a mix up here i'm not sure if this is a falcon or a t falcon like a regular one uh, if it's a t falcon then what you have your works and this works too what i would do with your uh mirror mitts so Typically, what I do when I um, level up something, let me just go back to this hanger here. Uh, what I what I can do is I can actually uh, buy a Titan here, so you can see how I would do. Well, I don't have the mirror mitts, but let's use let's just use the kid as an example. Okay, so let's just say you got your mirror mitts. What I typically do is I will level up. Uh, just to kind of give it like more health. Okay, like usually these two are important. So I would do like level 5. So you see how it's 5 here. Then you'll do another 5 here. And then another 5 there. So you spread it out across the board. And then when it comes to your weapons, what I would do is like if this is like your weapons... You want to focus on the alpha weapons first. So you would get this to like level 5 or 10. I'm just doing this like in like so that you can see like the order. So we'll get this to level 10 because the others is 5. And then you would focus on spreading out the damage of these. Okay, so like let's just say you get the, this to 5. And then you would get the other one to five. So the reason why I like spreading it out that way is because you might be in a battle and let's just say, for example, uh, you know, this one gets blown off. At least you, whatever the other weapons are, they are leveled up. So it's better to focus across. Do you know what I mean? Like, like even, even the way that I did the vengeance, maybe getting all of them to level 5 makes more sense. And then you get the vengeance to level 10 and then move these to level uh, 10. That way, if like, for example, um, you know, this one gets blown off, at least you have a level 5 here and this one. So that's kind of how I level up that. And then in terms of modules, um, usually I focus on like antimatter reactor or cannibal rea reactor first. Especially if you have a Titan that has um, like blast or in this case the stove ability, you increase the damage of all your weapons by having uh, antimatter reactor or cannibal, but also the ability of the uh, the Titan. So, yeah, that's that's how I do it. So you you increase your damage um, through your modules. 
and then after that i do the uh, like plated armor or whatever it is that you leveling up so that's how i would do it uh let's just go back to this one going back to the reddit uh, thing okay so hopefully that that answers your question to uh who is it a h i h h <laughs> long name um so i think i answered that question champion league none maxed okay let's take a look at this hanger okay so we've got an arthur with grom and squall scat and devastator with the uh the shell okay this works really well um that works really well that works well um hell burner with skill okay um ben and toxin i think your your bots work really well um one thing that i will point out and this is just something that a lot of uh champion league players are doing right now um they charge up their nuclear amplifiers whenever they sh they see a shell so like for example if i'm running two nuclear amplifiers on um an Arachi, and I see you in a shell, I'm probably going to target you to build up that accumulation, like the stacks, quicker. So I'm not sure if that's going to dictate how you build your hangar, but um, like I think at this point, running a shell over the Hellburner might make more sense. Um, I mean, you've got Igniters, you've got Devastator Scatters, Incinerator. I'm not sure about this build here. I'm not sure about this one. I find like for something like the Hellburner, because you are doing that, that damage close range, something like Glacier Rhyme is probably going to do better for you. You have higher burst damage. This one, you're kind of keeping your distance. So I think that's one thing I would change with this. Or you could run Devastate and Scatter on here too. Uh, but otherwise, everything else is working pretty good. Uh, just looking to see what you have in terms of the pilots. Um, your Arthur build, you know what, uh, dies, I'm not sure about the, uh, the Arthur at this point, because we're seeing, like, um, Minos, we're seeing Luchador, and, like, Miramets, my guess is your, uh, your Arthur's going down pretty quick, if I had to guess. You can let me know what you, like, what's happening, but I'm pretty sure it's going down, because I, I never really have trouble taking down Arthurs when I'm running Luchador. But even when I was testing out like the Minos, so it might be time to kind of transition. Like if I had to turn to like another Titan, if you have a Luchador, that would be a good option. Uh, Miramets is doing pretty well. I'm actually starting to see the Shuranga come back with shotguns. Some players are using the uh, Phase XL on the Luchador whenever they jump in and the Luchador loses its uh, reflector shield and then the Shuranga takes it out at close range. Would I go with two Grom and one Cataclysm? Uh, no, I don't think. I think if you're going to go Cataclysm, go with Cyclone Cataclysm. That, that I think right now, would probably be the strongest build for Arthur. But even then, I'm not sure if I would want to invest in an Arthur. I mean, I guess if you have those weapons, then, like, slap that on and, like, use it for now. But um, I think the game's moving more towards Minos and Luchador. Based on the games, you know, that I'm running into in like high champion um so let's just see uh wait did i look at this one if you have any on modules drones and what to upgrade first uh okay well i guess that i can't see this one <laughs> access denied uh yeah, Zhao Zheng, I'm not sure if you could post your screenshot here, it just makes it easier. Oh, everyone's putting their pilot ID. Wait, did I see this one already? Um, did I see this one? I'm trying to figure out. No, I didn't. Okay. Minos. Retaliators. So, my opinion, retaliators, while it can work, it's not going to work that well in higher level like champion i think when you get to like master league you're gonna start to struggle with this build so 
what I would do in the case of the Minos, start focusing on your, your modules. So if you have like plated armor, uh, if you have uh, Titan anti-control, if you happen to win that, uh, if you have, uh, you know, antimatter reactor or um, cannibal reactor, I would start leveling that up. Um, right now, I would say the top builds for Minos, probably Cinder and uh, the Squalls. Can you post the hangers here? Uh, Prad, it's really hard for me to stop the chat and like just focus on that. This is why I'm doing it this way. Um, posting pilot IDs isn't going to help because if you're on Steam or like Amazon or iOS, I won't be able to view it. That's why I'm going through to uh, Reddit. Hey, Maji. Okay, so uh, let's see. You've got the Hawkworth Nucleon. Quarkers, uh, I'm not really a fan of those weapons. I mean, Hell Snare is really, really strong, but I, I understand it's hard to get. If you can't get that, um, I would actually go for something like um, Glacier Rhyme Iku. Then, I think you would have more success with something like uh, those. But I guess because you are keeping your distance, right? Because I noticed you've got a level six here, so maybe that's your uh, thing. Um, yeah, these weapons, they don't really do that well when, even when maxed out. So, I don't know, Hornet, Magnetar could be one. I'm just saying, I'm just saying like Glacier Rhyme, just so that you can use it on other bots. Ravana with Corona, I wouldn't level these up too much. Havoc is going to be stronger with this. Uh, Aljung with Redeemers can work. What's interesting about the Aljung is that if you have Avenger weapons, I've actually found that Avenger weapons work better at level 9 than the Redeemers or the Aljung. Might want to be something you uh, consider. Uh, I'm also noticing... Okay, so you have Hawk, you've got Ares. Yeah, you know what? I think I would do Glacier Rhyme EQ on here. Because you've got, you've got Scourge and Spark for your range. This way... You can kind of get a bit of, you know, like you have some close range with the Glacier Rhyme EQ and you also have the Hawk Beam, beam at 500 meters. It will help to balance your hangar a bit better. Uh, Favnia with Igniters, this can work too. I think it's looking okay. Uh, just a couple of changes here and there. Uh, you are focusing on your weapon, so that's really good. That's good to see. Dande is good on Carnage. It's better on Orochi. Okay, we're gonna run some games here. Let's see if I can get a game in. Hopefully I don't crash. It's kind of expecting that to happen though, because I have so many uh, windows open on my desktop. I really shouldn't be running this many programs <laughs> while I'm running an emulator. It will crash me. So kind of like fingers crossed. <laughs> uh, thank you, uh, dear, dear bros, for your donation. Sorry uh, for missing that as well. You can still use your MK2 Avenger Aljung really well. Yeah, it, it, I mean, I use that at a lower level. It works actually pretty good. It's one of my, like, more, like... So you see why I stopped here? Because you notice no one's going for this. They just run... <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. Jeez. We're in, like, Champion League here, man. You wonder why you lose games. You may want to, like, look at your beacons. Right, well, they're all uh, fighting over there. You know what I'm going to do? Going to see if I can try to hide behind this little nook here. Oh, we got an angry wife. See what I did? <laughs> I saw this player, so I used my advantage here because I got a nebula on here just to help with the resistance. Oh, oh, the other one's on here, right? Where's that other player? Oh! Okay, well, I'm down to my last stand. Holy shoot. I had to heal just in time. They have a Favnir there, though. Maybe I need to drop in with my Hawk. 
Typically, I like dropping the hawk in more towards the end when I need to uh, deal with titans and stuff, though. But... We're losing a decent amount of... Uh, Who's that guy? Lock him down. that shield pops up there we go oh they knew what was gonna happen yep holy jeez this is not good at all i gotta lock this guy quick by the way that's why i have that lock down the chip on there <laughs> yes my teammate can get there quick get him and you shield break on him just in case. Get him all the way down to his last stand. Come on. Yes. Hold on, dude. Hold. Ah, oh, shoot. No. Come on. Holy crap. Push him off. Whoa, my health. Oh, jeez. Man, last stand. That was close. We're going to use Shield Breaker on this guy. Ooh. I think they bring... Is that a loot? No, that's not. No! Got him! Got him! Yes! <laughs> oh shoot, another one. What the? Oh man, he's lost then. That was a hawk. Oh! I'm hoping this player uh, fires their rockets at me. So I'm trying to get their attention because I want to absorb... I want to absorb that damage. Come on, fire, fire. There we go. That's one. That's two. Thank you. Oh my. Oh, come on. Yes. Take this player out. Thank you for charging me up. Might have to deal with this. Oh, I just realized you only got three players left. What the heck happened to my team? Okay. You might have to pull 300. No worries. <laughs> Come on, man. Ah, oh, shoot. Holy crap, did we really go down uh, fast? Okay, wait. What is this guy in center in? What is this guy in? And coming! Boom! Yo, where'd the third guy come? Oh, shoot. That can't be good. Where's that coming from? <laughs> oh, it's this side. Ah, crap. I can get that shield. Is that going to be enough? And coming. Boom. Ah, come on. Well, you know what? He got off the beacon. Oh, oh. Oi, oi. Heaven here. And coming. Wait a minute. How the heck are we almost uh, five capping them? For real? What the hell just happened? 
We just turned the game around. Yo, we got a five captive? <laughs> That's funny. I don't even know. Maybe they, because they, they one player crash, no? I think so. No! Boom! Oh, come on! I couldn't use my ability. Let's just do that. Oh man, I used a reflector shield. That guy, <laughs> he's firing at me. Is this gonna change or what? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh! Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This all of a sudden became a game that we could actually win. Trying to put a shield down here. I'm not sure if my teammate is still alive, but we're going to try to deal with this guy. Oh! <laughs> Almost. Almost. Thank you, Pranjit. 15 months member. Smash that like button if you haven't done so. Yeah, we have 430 uh, viewers. If you guys enjoy this kind of live stream where I take a look at your hangers, make sure to leave a thumbs up. Oof, man, we actually almost we almost pull a victory from that. That was that was a really weird game. <laughs> All of a sudden, we were like five capping them, even though we were down players. Hi, wizard. Okay, uh, should I play another game, or you guys want to take a look? Should we look at some more Reddit posts here? Let me just uh. Mm, oh, I'm seeing a lot of stuff. Hold on. I need to go to uh, the hangar advice. Okay, so let's let's switch on over to that. I think this could be really helpful for a lot of players because. You know, not only do I get to see what you guys are building, I mean, you might actually have a really good build that I haven't tested out, but I get to help players in the process too. 9,000 components of... What? 15 years? <laughs> Wait, what? what? What is this? 5,000 of Arachi and 8,000 components of shell building um, a Fenrir. Okay, so your art is okay. Uh, your Erebus. Okay, so we've got um, Hell and Hornet for the Erebus. Uh, let's see. Igniters and Punishers for your Typhon. This is a really good build for your Fenrir, by the way. Ooh, this is... Um, okay. Um, hmm. Scatter and Cryo. Uh, I guess this could work... You know what? Okay, so for your Scorpion, what I would do is build Havoc and Scatter for this build. Um, I was looking at your Hawk because I noticed you have a Hell here. You actually have two Hells and you have a Snare. You know what? This is just my opinion, but I would rather run the Hell and Snare on the Hawk than to run it on the Erebus. I mean, if you want a, if you want a cheap build for the time being, just like a, um, like a temporary thing, Run like thunders on here. See how that how that does. You've got uh, let's see punishes. This is a bit of a mix up here. Yeah, maybe build two more uh, igniters. But otherwise, this is strong. This could be strong. I mean, you've got a you've got a devastator. You've got thunder here. So yeah, maybe try the thunders on the Erebus and move the hell and the, the like the hell you have and the snare. Move it to your Hawk. That might do better for you. Okay, so let me just go back here. Let's see if we can take a look at... Did I already take a look at this one? This looks... Uh... No, we already took a look at this one. That looks familiar. <laughs> that looks familiar. When I looked at that Natasha. Okay, 
Okay, what do we have over here? I think I looked at this one too. Trying to see if there's anything else I can help you guys with. Um, okay. What about this? To upgrade for your Luchido first, it's currently at health 23. Okay, let's see. Is this, uh, this viewer watching? Or I should say, is this uh, player watching? Uh, what build needs uh, help? Uh, Paul, I've already actually reviewed those other builds, which I just kind of showed on screen. Um, so, Luchador, Hell 23, Core 11, Engine 2. So, again, like what I would do is I would spread out the uh, the upgrades. So, just like I showed with the kid, you want to spread them out. Don't focus too much on one, unless, of course, it's giving a lot of like health. Um, with the, let me just actually take a look at the Luchador here. Okay, so with the uh, with the Luchador, you probably want to focus on the hull and the core because uh, this part here. So first of all, the splash damage is important. I would say both of these is really important. Decreases the percentage of gray damage. So gray damage is Sonic, uh, basically like Sonic damage. You will see like your health bar that will have that gray area. It will decrease that. So, and this adds resistance. Yeah, so I would say focus on these two. I think. Let's see, this player had um, Hull 23, Core 11. What I would do is get the Hull to like 25, the Core to 25, and then uh, work on the engine, getting that to 25. But you don't want to level it up too much because you also want to focus on your modules. So if you have like Titan Anti-Control, uh, you probably want to like beef it up with that. Um, this also helps with, uh, for example, like if someone's trying to lock you down. So... It kind of prevents like lockdown and suppression, freeze. If you don't have this plated armor, and then you know what I would also focus on, and probably it might be a good idea to focus on this first, is antimatter reactor or cannibal reactors. Because that's going to increase your damage of your splash, uh, you know, your when you do that hell dive, the frog splash, and also your weapons. So that's what I would do with that, that one. Uh, let's just go back here. Hey, my G. Um, okay, so... Let's take a look at this question. Would hell work on a T-Falcon? No, it wouldn't. I know some are saying yes, it would, but... Okay, with a T-Falcon, one weapon, the hell is going to be terrible. If you guys want, I can run it right now. And I will show it at like max level. You'll understand why I say no. Um, you want to run either Bane. I would say Bane. Um, Amber would be another one. Anything with a fast reload. But it does well at close range. Devastator could actually work too. But you want. Uh, yeah you want uh, something that, that does well at close range. Don't use range. Not for a T-Falcon. If it was a regular falcon, then that makes more sense. Okay, um, we'll take a look at this and then I'm going to run a, a game. Is the stats good also? What about your hangar? Uh, stats, so first of all, if you're building your hangar, don't even look at stats. Okay, because stats, it's not going to make you play better. Your hanger is going to make you play better. So you want to focus on that first. So what should you replace your tier? Is this competitive against the current meta? Um, so the two bots that will compete in the current meta is going to be your Favnir and your Revenant. Um, but again, I'm noticing you leveling up your robots more than your weapons. It's going to hurt you in the end. Uh, your tier is a very mixed up well actually you know what for your tier build a uh build another igniter you will have a full-on flame build that would be good so your erebus yeah you know what it's actually not too bad 
If you have like um, Tyrants, I would use that instead of Punisher T's because Punishers don't really work well on the Favnir. But otherwise, everything that you have here is pretty solid, believe it or not, for this level. What I would do is I would start... Uh, uh, I mean, your, your stuff is all over the place. Maybe get your robots all to level 9, this level. So two more levels for your Revenant, uh, eight more levels for your Erebus. Stop right there and then start leveling up those weapons. Get your weapons to... Um, I mean, if you're stopping at 9, get them to level 10 or 11, MK1. So do the Revenant first. Do the... Hmm, maybe do the tier next. And then do the Favnir and then do the Erebus last. That's what I would do. Your Merimet is totally fine. That will work. Okay, guys. I'm going to be... Uh, we're going to be playing some games here. I don't want to do too much of that. Otherwise, the stream gets kind of boring. <laughs> uh... Nebula versus Glider for Favnir, uh, Nebula. How long is the stream going to be? It's going to be... I was going to do like two hours, but I don't know if it's going to be too long. Seems like it's seven hours ago. That's because I went through my, my own post earlier. I'm just like trying to help other players while I'm at it. Thanks, Christian. You run Hell Arachi with Quantum Radar to Advanced Heal. You get enough heal with Wonder Worker. Yeah, that can work. This guy charged me up. Look at look at my amplifiers. 64. See that? Ooh, yeah, that good thing that guy moved around the corner there. <laughs> Gonna try to help out with this side. Steal it! Ah, shoot. Oh, We got some stuff happening here on this side. You see me looking to the right side? It's uh, because I want to see if there's any reds there and my teammates. So I will just glance over just to see what's happening on that side. I want to keep an eye on the, the battlefield at all times. Okay, we're going to put this field down here. Okay, so what I'm going to do here, you're going to notice... I'm trying to fight in the center of where this beacon is so that these guys can't push me off that beacon. A lot of players over there. Holy shoot. Uh, we're going to use a revenant. Holy crap. Oh, teleport quick. Oh, he got... <laughs> he got... Oh, wait. Is that him? Oh, it's <laughs> he got wiped out just as I teleported. Okay, we're going to move this way. <laughs> hey, Brian. I should leave that guy for later. Oh, man, he dropped. I mean, they spawn. Oh, jeez. Here we go. Here we go. There's one. There's two. There's three. Four. <laughs> Yep. Maybe five, six. Another one, another one, another one. This is, you see, when you have too much range, this is what happens when the guy with the close range drops in or he gets to your spawn. Man, bad things happen. Just like this. I'm going to put down a heal here just for my teammates. We're all like... We're all in close range, too. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Teleport! What the heck is that? Is that a phantom? Godlike! Another one, another one! Ooh! 
Holy jeez. Let's put that shield up there. <laughs> I'm trying to kill this guy. Man, he keeps using transcendence. There we go. You know, I'm still thinking of the players that said that the uh, Revenant needs a buff. <laughs> After I just wiped out like the entire team here. Oh jeez, that guy's right next to uh... Oh jeez, oh! Yikes! Oh, oh my. <laughs> here, I'm giving you a heal. Have more fun! Oh, he's gonna bounce on my head. Oh shoot. <laughs> it was a raker. That looked like a phantom. Jeez man. I didn't even get into my Titan. And what I could do also later on, uh, if you guys are interested, I can show you what my baby account looks like so you can see how you know, a lot of times players say, well, the reason why you can always say these things is because you're running a max account. But the thing is, I do it even on a low level account, so it doesn't really matter. Like, the focus is the same. <laughs> Definitely does not. <laughs> I've been in games where, like, you know, you would think that thing's going down, and then all of a sudden you're like, holy crap, man, I'm still alive. You're looking at the times, like, four minutes. Four minutes with, like, one bot. It's the Nebula drone. Yep, it's a nebula. But that's a thing. You can't you can't imagine if you buff this. I think even it's not actually the nebula, it's really more the chips. Because I could run I ran a I did a video where I ran it on the discus. I ran the discus on there. It also survived a long time. It's the chips. Which Titan is the best in my opinion right now? Luchador. Because of the distance it can travel. But you, I think it really depends too on like which battle mode. Because on something like Free For All, I think Minos might even be better. Because you need, for that kind of battle mode, you need like speed. Being able to, you know, get those kills, steal it. <laughs> So I think in that case, it actually makes more sense to... Uh, whoa, how'd that guy get there? That was pretty quick. Wait a minute, are we going up against a squad here or something? I'm seeing similar... So, remember what I said, like, champion players, they will find shells to charge up. Look at my nuclear amplifiers on the left side. You see how it says 45? You see how quickly it went up? We're now at max, I think, right? We have to be. Ooh, there's a lot of stuff here. Trying to hit that guy. Oh! Holy jeez, there's a lot of guys there at center. Okay, uh, we're gonna use this. Miramets is good. Yeah, some, some champ players run Miramets. They use it to, uh... They EMP the uh, Luchador. I would say Miramets, Luchador, and Minos. Those are the three that I tend to run into the most. Although I have been seeing uh, quite a bit of uh, Shuranga as well. Holy jeez, they all went that way. I was hoping they would all come this way and shoot my shield. Okay, maybe not. Come on, come this side, guys. I want you to shoot my shield. <laughs> yeah, I guess they're not interested. Well, I mean, we are kind of forecapping them, so. 
Why is this guy in? Maybe I just wait here. There we go. There we go. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Thank you. Let them take that beacon, because that way they will keep dropping in here and I can kill them one by one. Oh. I didn't even see that guy. They kind of charge me up quite a bit too. Although, that guy is pretty tough. There we go. Oh my gosh. Holy crap. Gone too. <laughs> this guy's been wondering what's going on. Is healthy just dropping? Whoa. Try to heal that. Gone. Take out their Favnias first. Holy crap. Oh, they have a camper back there. I wonder if I can... Oh, he's got Shield Breaker. Holy crap, gone. Uh-oh. Must kill, must kill, this one! Another one, another one! Nope, oh, oh, oh! <laughs> Oof! This guy too. Whoa. No, boom. Ooh. This Nightingale's gonna die, yes. Oh, I was waiting to get my jump. I wanted to jump over. <laughs> Shoot the shield. Why? Because it charges up my uh, built-in weapon. That's why I was able to kill those players so quickly. So if you shoot a Favnir's shield when it takes off into flight, it's for how many seconds? It's a couple of seconds. If you shoot that shield, it's absorbing all that damage. And for the whole duration of the flight, that, in that damage is going to be uh, increasing the damage of the built-in weapon. That's why if you see a farm you're going to fly, don't shoot the shield because you're <laughs> you're making it worse for yourself. Because if uh, if they end up uh, targeting you, you're gonna go down really fast. Uh, is the black market the only way to get the ox minos at the moment? I believe so. Uh oh. I was going to say thank you, Christian, but I read your uh, thing during that game. Desert Penetrate Absorber Shield, it actually goes all the way through. So if you're in an Ares or if you're in, I'm trying to think like what other might have that kind of shield. Any of the uh, the Pantheon bots, the Cinder's going to go all the way through on the ground. All the way through, you're going to get hit. They're gonna go through that side. I'm gonna go through this side, yep. Trying to focus on that shell. Charge up my uh, amplifiers here. Yep, I know he's... yep. <laughs> he kind of got stuck.
<laughs> get out of my way! Get out of my way! <laughs> I'm trying to shoot this guy. He's, uh... If I, I try to get this guy down to his last stand, because I know he charged up there. He uses... Yeah, we all... All the five years do that. I do that too. Charge up inside the tunnel. See, he's doing it again. No, this is another one. Trying to trap him so that he gets down to his last stand. There we go. This guy, he's also... He also went into the tunnel. He's going to go into flight so he can get that damage. Last stand too, though. Oh. Trying to uh, get this guy. Oh. Uh, last stand triggered on him. We should be able to get that guy, right? I think there's a guy above. Someone charged this guy up quite a bit. I'm trying to take him out. Got him. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, shoot! Oh, shoot! There's a Shiranga here somewhere. Oh, behind us. They went all the way behind me there. I didn't even realize it. Where is it? What's my team doing? I guess they're on their side. Oh, we gave up all our home beacons. <laughs> wow. Okay. I don't know if I would have agreed with that kind of move. we go oh oh uh oh we've got two luchadors where's this nodens dude 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 nodens heal him quick guys on his he's like lifeline here trying to focus on this guy take out that luchador got him <laughs> yeah, we're in trouble now. They're in our spawn. Oh, wait. Whoa. Well, uh... Trying to get close enough to this player. Let's do that. If I can get onto this beacon first... I didn't want to I didn't want to stay around on that side there because they've got too many guys someone else is healing me though I need to get him to use his shield there we go that 
Oh my gosh, I hope that guy has a lot of heals, man, because I'm kind of going down pretty fast. Holy shoot. I actually need to get the guy, uh, the beacon behind me. <laughs> uh, thank you, Christian. Is the new Orochi pilot worth uh, leveling up? Uh, you have the ghost one maxed out. I would keep the ghost. You know, I tried, I tried that other one. I didn't quite like it. It kind of messes with the cooldown. Like, I don't know. I seem to die more with it. Thank you, Steel. Um, hi, Adrian. Good to see you. Nodens or Minos to counter Luchador? Uh, Minos is better. Nodens is a uh, sitting duck. I think if you're going to use Nodens, you really have to hang back and like really keep an eye on like Luchador's. Oh, we were down a player. Okay, well that explains why we got like spawn raided. <laughs> um, okay, wait, hold on. We're going to move... Let's go to Reddit here. Maybe I can refresh this. Uh, oh. Bane, Magnum with Fenrir, Bane, Igniter. Uh, so, yes. So you want to replace your Leo and rather run the Fenrir with Bane, Igniter. That's a good that's a good uh change oh so wait which robot performs better using these weapons havoc scatter uh so if you have havoc and scatter i would run it on the ravana although that's not havoc um you will need to get a devastator weapon but yeah the sonic weapons work better on the ravana i think for a lower level if you're looking at lower level robot scorpion might be better so for example if you have like a level nine scorpion level nine oh wait you, you're talking about ravana why am i thinking revenant so between the two ravana is stronger for sure <laughs> maji but yes you need to hide with it yeah i'm seeing revenant everywhere so that's why i, I was like wait revenant or scorpion now, between the Revenant or Scorpion, the Revenant is stronger at max level. Um, but if it if it's like level 9 Revenant versus level 9 Scorpion, I think uh, if you're running it at that level, Scorpion might be better. But you have Ravana here. Um, between the two, Ravana is definitely stronger. Hands down. So, hopefully that answers your question. Um, this was 17 minutes ago. Let's take a look at this. Oh, me, uh, what? Something hanger. <laughs> okay, this is good. Megalodon, Orochi, wait, why didn't you show the, the, the levels? We want to see what's going on here. Okay, Igniter Bane, this is good. That is good. That's good. Oh, you have two Orochis. Ah, uh, hmm. I'm not sure if I would run two I've been seeing more players actually run too. I think I would have rather run like another tank or something because the thing with the Arachi, I'm not sure if you play beacon rush or domination mode, but if you're on a beacon and there's a heavy tank on there, you're not going to deal with them with an Arachi most times. Um, unless of course, maybe another option is to perhaps replace Redeemer with like Devastator. That way, if you are dealing with a tank like a Fenrir or like Revenant, the Arachi with Devastator is very good against that. But otherwise, uh, everything is looking good. Uh, you just need to focus on your weapons. Um, so out of this, what I would focus on first is probably... Um, let's see. I would probably do the Fenrir first. Then do the Favnir. So even though the Favnir, like what you have here is range... The Favnir is also kind of a tanky bot once you land, so you could always consider that as a tank. So I would do this, that, and probably the Hawk next. This Arachi would be lost. And this works fine. Okay, let's just go back.
pay for power. There's no guarantee. Yeah, a lot of times players, uh, you know what? Like I said, a lot of times I could actually give another player an MK3 hanger, just hypothetically speaking, and there's a good chance that player will struggle. Because, you know, it's one thing having the, everything maxed out, but if you don't understand things like drone chips and stuff like that, you are actually going to go down really fast. I don't think you guys realize just how fast you can go down with a maxed out bot. If you don't understand those things, then... And it's usually the champion players because they've, you know, gone through the whole process of playing other top players and they're trying to figure things out. That's usually how it goes. Oh. You've got a viewer. Ming for fun because you barely use titans, uh, a little lower level, switch them recently waiting for the next discount. Nothing wrong with that. Okay, so you've got a walk, Havoc. So, first thing I'm doing is I'm looking at how much range. So we've got Hell, Snare, we've got Scatty here, but that's okay. We've got Havoc and Scatty. Okay, we've got two, okay, so we've got two Favniers. Revenant. This works. So you've got Last Stand. Uh, what is that? Uh, heavy. Is that Heavy Armor Kit? I'm trying to figure out these symbols here. I, I never pay attention to these symbols. <laughs> uh, so, so what you want to do here in this kind of situation, focus on your, your Revenant first. Um, if you're, especially if you're playing Beacon Rush or Domination, focus on this first. Uh, get your weapons to uh, MK3 because that's pretty much what you're going for here. Um, trying to think, you know, between these two builds, like, I guess because this is a Freedom Farm, it makes more sense to kind of probably level this up. But I, I think between these two builds, I would actually level this one up more. Uh, like MK3 this first. My reasoning is because you've got Havox on here. So if you ever decide to drop down to the ground and you need to like defend a beacon, this is going to be more successful than this. So in terms of multi-purpose, this makes more sense. So I would MK3 this, MK3 that, um, then MK3 this Favnir, and then uh, probably MK3 this Arachi. Because you're going to find in most uh, like most games, because I noticed you're in uh, Legend here, and we I've faced you guys quite often. Um, focusing too much on range is really bad, especially if you're playing Domination Beacon Rush. Like when the enemy is aggressive and they take it right to your spawn, if you don't have your heavy tanks, you're gonna be in a lot of trouble. I know because this is how I used to get spawn raided, so I always have nightmares. If I don't have like my uh, stuff, <laughs> if I don't have it, uh, you know, leveled up, like not not leveled up in as in max, but like as in like my brawlers can get ugly fast. Okay, Lone, we gotta take a look at your hangar. Cataclysm, Cyclone, Retaliator. Uh, you probably, I guess you are working towards another Cyclone here. But otherwise this can work. Let's see how much range you've got. Range, range, range. You've got too much, way too much range. Uh, so, you've got the Arachi with Hell. You've got a Hawk with Hell and Snare. You've got a Favnir with, it's a, you've got, let's see, one, two, three, four. So what I would do, trying to think of how um, I would go about doing this, because I'm not sure if you have uh, more Banes or like Devastator weapons, but I think I would probably do that instead of running range on here. And what I would do is uh, when it comes to leveling up like tanks, because you've already got your Revenant to level nine, it looks like you're working on these weapons, getting these to level nine, I'm guessing. Uh, what I would do with the Favniers, you probably want to run like Havoc or something. Maybe do one Havoc and one Igniters, or if you have Venom weapons, you can run it on there too. This will allow you to bal balance out some of that range, because that way if you drop down to the ground, you can at least brawl with it. Okay, so I think that's what I would do with these two. So... Uh, I would stop with this, make those adjustments to your two Favniers, then focus on, yeah, I think making, getting like either Bane or Devastate or something, something close range, I think would be better for this. 
because that's a lot of that's a lot of camp like i don't know if you if you're playing beacon rush or domination once you lose this i mean you have so much range what happens if the enemy is like on your beacon what are you gonna how are you gonna defend against that you're gonna drop in my guess is you're gonna drop in with the revenant your revenant's gonna go down uh and then you're dropping with a five you're going to flight but because your Favnir is like weak when it's in flight. You're probably going to back away from the beacon. So you're going to give up that beacon. The enemy now has your beacon. They're going to drop in there, take out your Favnir. And then you're going to spawn elsewhere with probably maybe Hawk to defend from a distance. They're going to go for you. And then again, you the same thing. You're going to lose this too. And then you're forced to drop in with your Arthur. So I don't know if I've got like most of those right. Does that happen to you? Because I could see that happening with this hangar. You get manhandled without <laughs> without range but you need that you need that range at close range because like so the thing is if you build too much range your my guess is what's going to happen is once you've got these all to like level nine you're going to want to max it out so you're actually live you're focusing still focusing on range because you have those weapons it makes a it makes a big difference hi daniel yes i'm reviewing uh hangers hangers rather i have a a pinned comment um to the reddit post thank you pranjit bennick in the house doosh, doosh, doosh. <laughs> you had to get range in your hangar since you played quick match you know what i think that's also why i've been noticing so many players leaving games and like when they lose they just leave I think it's because they're just getting slaughtered. And it's not because I like matchmaking and stuff. Like some of them are actually leveled up. Like I will see their... You know, I see their hangers and I'm like, why the guy leave? Then I realize, oh shoot, he's got like Jaeger, like <laughs> Behemoth, like Flux or something. Erebus with Prisma, which by the way is a really bad build. Don't level it up. I just saved you like 1.6 billion or something silver right there. You're welcome. Uh, hold on. I'm just looking to see. Oh, ooh. Can we answer that question? I'm just going through this uh, list here. Uh, this has a lot of for me to read. Is that Pranjit? Yeah, that's Pranjit. Do we take a look at, uh, oh. You had to use Instagram to post? Uh, that's okay. Uh, oh, wait. I can't. Can we take a. I'm trying to see if I can. Uh... So we've got a Favnir with Scaddy. That's good. Fenrir with Ember and Corona. Um, I would build Igniter weapons. Corona weapons, they have that good burst damage, but then after a while, it really slows down. So that's what I would do with that one. Uh, Cryo, Tyrant. Okay, so this this Favnir build, Tyrant is actually not that bad. But the thing is, you've got it kind of mixed up. I would put the Tyrant on the side. So run Tyrant on the side and then Cryos on the top. Uh, that works. Range, range, range. Yeah, I think that's what I would do. So focus on your, your Fenrir first and then focus on the two uh, Favnirs. Especially this one. Switch the weapons out. You'll notice a big difference. Because right now you have like 300 meter range when you could have 350 and you also have faster reload with the Tron's. Uh, your Miramets looks okay. So I'm trying to like a really small image. Seems to be the meta range. Uh, well, those weapons can't, those weapons that you're talking about, the snare, the snare, the scatty and the hell, yes. When the healing amplifier comes out, tanks will dominate the game for a while. Yeah, I think it's gonna... I think that you're right. It probably is. So, hold on. I'm gonna play some games now. Because I don't want to focus... Like, I know Hangar Reviews is what it's about. But, uh... If there's no gameplay, then I'm pretty sure you guys find it boring. <laughs> so, we're gonna play some games. Hey, Hammer. I think I saw... Did I see Togi? I saw Togi. Hey, Togi. Hi, Kellim. 
Yeah, I've been I've been helping uh, also Togi with uh, some of his stuff on his hangar too. Um, he's actually facing very similar problem to many of you guys where you know there's just so many things that you need to focus on and you upgrade one thing on one bot then you switch to another one because you're not sure and in the end you actually end up with like half mediocre builds so i'm trying to help him align like his hang up and we'll see how it how it turns out hopefully he's finding an improvement is this player in to take this guy out first I'm gonna see if I can clear out the top here Oh, they actually got it. They're going to drop in here. I need to actually... What I need to do is I need to charge up. I need to get into my Favni and charge up. Oh, shoot. Scorpion. Mascot. Are we losing our... A lot of stuff down below. Uh, let's see. We're going to use the Ravana here. Come on. Let's take out this player. Jeez, there's a lot of players here. I actually need to get my Favnir into this tunnel here. There's a lot of guys. I could be charging up like crazy. Holy shoot. Holy man, the whole team is here. Jeepers. Jeepers creepers. Hold on, hold on. Must get close. Oh, oh man. Here we go, guys. Into flight. They blasted their damage. Keep shooting, keep shooting. Let's get out of this tunnel here now. He's down to his last stand. Take this one out. There we go. Put down a shield. Take that guy out. Give me this one too. Holy crap. There we go. Just stay on the beacon, guys. Stay on the beacon. I'll fly above it here so we can hold this down. There we go. Yes. <laughs> oh, wait. Someone just dropped in. What is that? Uh -oh. Okay. Put down a heal here just in case for my teammate. That should help. What is this? Oh man, they charged me up. Uh oh, uh oh. 
Trying to hide behind this pillar. Oh, shoot. Get him. Oh, oh. <laughs> that was funny. I try to go. Oh my gosh, things are going to end bad. Yep. Ooh. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, I wanted to steal that one. Squish them. Yo, they're all on the other side. Yeah, coming. Oh, come on. <laughs> Join in the fun. Oh man, they have a couple of titans. I need to jump over. Oh, that is such a juicy target. Come on, hurry up. Incoming juicy target. No! Incoming! Boom! Yes. Don't mind me. Oh, we had a couple of donations. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, shoot. Sorry, guys. I did not see that I didn't switch. Squick. Thank you, guys. Thank you. I caught it. Thank you, Erlen. Thank you, Tony. Screen change back to game. Reddit screen is up there now. Wait, we can't see. Folks. Hey, I should do this more often. Get more donations this way. <laughs> Best comment you can see, visualize the game. Yeah, guys, I can't see because my one monitor is, or my one window is, like I said, I have a lot of windows open, so it's going to crash. Thank you, Aurora. Thank you, uh, Juicy Screen. <laughs> hey, guys, you only need to see the, the lot. You only need to see the score. War ro Robot Radio is over. Thank you, Logan. Yeah, I actually have a lot of screens open. I have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, seven, I think. We got to appreciate my commentating skills. Yeah, I needed practicing. <laughs> um hold on a second guys okay so i think should i i'll play one more game um and then that's gonna be it you guys can let me know actually what you think of the idea of doing hangar reviews um there's a couple that were posting like afterwards Maybe I'll take a look at it after I play another game. So let me just do that. Yeah, I have I have this one window open. I can't close it because the Reddit one, if I close it, then I lose the Reddit screen. Uh, you're almost to the new drone. Have I tried it out yet? Which drone? Okay, we'll play one more game, guys, and then after this... Won't let us know that he was playing on Yamantau. Yeah, I was playing on Yamantau, guys. Just testing out the wild... Oh, shoot, you guys can't see this map that well. Okay, wait, I'll try to end this game quick. Because this game, uh, this map is very dark. The Iron Earth. Yeah, we, um, we were testing it on the test server, but it, that one was, was really bugged. I, I was playing on a new map. I just didn't want you guys to see it because it was like top secret. 
<laughs> oh shoot wait a minute we, we might oh no my team Oof. uh they're all on the platform okay i can already tell we've lost this game you like my uh enthusiasm <laughs> I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna make it. Not gonna make it. Not gonna make it. Not gonna make it. Let's go forward. Ah, oh, shoot. He's gonna get this beacon. Man. Okay, at least got one, one kill before. Yeah, I'm gonna be totally... Whoa, they really overreacted. Shoot, what the heck is going on here? Okay, there we go. But wait, are we gonna get their platform? Maybe. Jeez. Oh man. Okay, hold on. Target this guy. Maybe he'll target. Uh, charge up my amplifiers first. Oh man. Shoot, I need my ability quick, man. Uh, okay, um. Crap. We're in trouble. We're in a lot of trouble here. I wonder if I can get this. No, you know what? I don't think I'm going to be able to get. Maybe. Well, let's see. I turn it white. We got it. We got it. Yes. Maybe I can go for the other one. Good for me for reporting the hackers. Uh, dude, I always report those guys. They shouldn't be playing. They ruin the fun for everyone else. Oh, come on. Shoot, that guy shooting me in the butt. He's gonna drop in again. No, he didn't. We're getting this beacon. Oh boy. I'm not looking at this Shuranga because I don't want him to see me coming. That's why I'm turning to the side like that. Okay, now that he knows that I'm here. She might have saved me, maybe. No. Um, hmm. To use the hawk. To lock this guy down. Oh, come on.
Need to get this side. Someone's gonna drop in over here. I'm just waiting. Yep, there we go. Get this guy down to his last stand. There we go. Almost got him. We need to get... Uh, we got the center, but the thing is they got that... Uh, they got that Favnir. No! Take out this guy quick. Come on, guys. Go for another beacon. Quickly. Don't all stack up and go for the same guy. Shoot, they're going into center. Oh, man. I'm not going to be able to save the center. My team needs to get into... Uh, they need to go to the platform there. Let's just do that. Uh-oh. 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 Let's just jump here. Shoot, we're kind of running out of time. Um, it's happening on the platform. Oh, this guy's going to give me a heal. So they have a, we need to get the platform back. Whoops, sorry dude. And <laughs> yeah, he's trying to wither me down. Uh I don't wanna go for okay, so I don't wanna go for this guy. Hey, 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 hey! Go to the dam, dude. Dam! Oh jeez. I can't go to the dam. If I go to the dam, I'm gonna be exposed. Go to the dam, dude. Go to the dam, I'll take care of this Arthur. No, no, no. Oh, why does he follow me? Well, I guess we have enough. T uh, we have enough time, right? Three. You should go go to the other side. Behind, behind you. Behind you. Oh, no. Shoot. Oh, we have someone dropping in there. So I'm going to drop in over here. I put down a shield for my teammate. Did he kill him? I think he killed him. No, he didn't. I can hear him shooting. There we go. He might have another one, actually. Did we kill all his bots? I think we killed all his bots. <laughs> I tell you, no one wants to be exposed. Yeah, I didn't want to go there because my weapons are like 125. So if I were to go there, then and that guy has 350 meter range. He just needs to stay out of range and I'm in trouble. Um, oh, those asking for me to run with them. I can't do that with this account. This account does not belong to me. Um, it's an account that belongs to Pixonic. We're not allowed to squad or join clans or anything, so... Oh, and if you're wondering how come I'm in a clan, this clan that I'm in, uh, is... Actually, wait, did I leave a clan? 
I think I might have left the clan. Do we still have? Yeah, I think I, I left. It was a Pixonic clan. My prediction was wrong. <laughs> the way that... So on that map, if you stay on the platform like that, I would say in about 70-80% of the time, like, you will lose your games. You got to get the heck off that platform. You will often see players fighting on there and that usually they end up going down. Better than my English? What's different about my English? Most times I think I can't speak English even though it's like the only language I speak. <laughs> okay, so... BGI. Yeah, it's supposed to be Bastion giveaway. It's a... It's a fake... Uh, fake clan well actually not really a fake it was made because when i ran with pixonic well look at the, my silver who was it that oh it was wizard five 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 point five screenshot bastion giveaway yeah it was bastion giveaway it's just so that i didn't have to find them in my friends because i have like a lot of facebook friends and stuff so if I'm in the same clan as him, then at least they can find me and I can find them when we're doing those live streams. My real account is the one that's with Vox. <laughs> five, 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 point. I think that was Wizard that was pointing it out. Wait, I think you asked me if I could get that. We just did. Bonus points. Oh, thank you, Erland, for your donation. Love the reviews. Even if you're not submitting your hang, you still learn a lot, just like with my tutorial videos. I'm glad it helps, uh, Erland. I'm actually going to release a video um, covering the hawk because you guys have asked me to uh, do like different robots and stuff. So I did um, I did the Revenant. I did the Favnir. Um, I think the next one's going to be the hawk. Still need to get uh, gameplay and stuff for that. full name of clan vox um voice of death and i know the shouldn't that be vod <laughs> some asked me so the x is like you know when you're crossing players off a list yeah so that that's what it is Okay, so, um, I don't know, you guys have any other questions? Also, let me know, like, so one way to let me know that you are interested in live streams like these is to make sure that you leave a thumbs up because, you know, I use that as a metric to tell whether that's pretty much what my viewers want. So if it is what you guys want and you do find it helpful, make sure to do that. Um, and also consider subscribing if you haven't already. Um, this way you don't miss live streams like these or when I do giveaways. There is going to be one coming up soon. Uh, thank you, Julian. Um, at some point, can I do a series on how to fight Revenant and other Metabots? I could definitely do that. The only thing is sometimes when it comes to like a new robot, it takes a while for players to adapt, myself included. So for example, um, I guess like a luchador would be a good example you know a lot of players say well it's op and stuff and I, I you know i have to always keep reminding them well it seems op now because players haven't learned to adapt to it yet um, as time goes on players will learn different strategies and uh, different builds in order to counter it so what i've noticed with the luchador at least in my clan battles um i've seen everything from like packs of like minos so when the red team, like red, like you know, if I'm playing against a top clan, they see a luchador drop, they will drop in multiple minos, and they will uh, basically gang up against that minos or uh, that luchador. So when the luchador jumps in, the minos would kind of wait a bit for that reflector shield to wear off, and then they will run in, 
and it's actually pretty effective so that is one way uh, the only thing is it requires communication amongst players um, i've seen other players run shiranga shotguns for example and that's really effective because of the uh, phase exile uh, favnir's is pretty effective against it too to gain a beacon that's pretty op yeah but uh bruno you got to remember that you know i'm some of those players that i'm going up against are low level if you play against like high level uh players clans you will see how coordinated they are so you know if there's a lot of luchadors out you will start to see like farm drop in to counter it these are things that you don't typically see when you play solo so pretty much like what i show you guys in my videos these are things that i've had to encounter or that i've had to deal with against top players um obviously when i demonstrate it i don't have the top players around or i can't kind of form squads in order to demonstrate because i'm not allowed to squad with this account so kind of makes things a bit tougher on that that side if that makes sense thought everyone was maxed out no not everyone because it depends um the maxed out that you're talking about is if i play s rank clans and i need to play my own account for that so yeah um so oh do you think it's a good idea to keep up upgrading fireball and freezing weapons when the new drone will be immune to the effects or shall you uh right now it's well i wouldn't say the fireballs is the the meta um as far as i mean what what was the other one you have freeze i think snare hell and scatty is definitely going to be i mean around for a while um we might be seeing a switch to toxic weapons i still think toxic weapons and like sonic weapons are pretty effective uh thank you uh, Vic. perfect time to start upgrading tanks folks and forget about camping bots when healing uh amplifier module comes out tanks will dominate the game for a while so uh, that's vic's advice uh shin can i make a video on top robots uh this year since it's coming to an end uh there will be a video but not just yet usually i tend to do that video more towards like the end of the year just to kind of review <laughs> oh, I think I saw Eric. <laughs> hey, Eric. Fireball weapons are excellent against Titans. Uh, they can be. Um, Daniel, pretty sure it's going to be a Luchador giveaway because he made a poll. Oh, yeah, it's not going to be a Luchador. <laughs> I found out afterwards that Pixonic said they unfortunately can't do the Luchador this time. I think, I, I, I'm not sure if they, they do Titans anymore. I remember I did Titans a while back, but yeah, this is not going to be that. Which, well, I guess you can kind of figure out what, what it's somewhat going to be. Although I'm going to get it split. More of my own account gameplay. So I would have actually done my own account today but then i realized afterwards that i can't uh do certain things on my mac that i can on my pc when i stream so for example you know like when we switch to like reddit so you see like with this you can see my cursor if i live stream on my ipad you won't be able to see this because it's all touch screen right so you don't have a curse and you can't follow along so that makes it a little bit tougher for me to to do a stream like this so that's kind of why i decided to do it on this account oh and i think i was going to show you my baby account because i'd often players say well easy for you to give advice because everything is maxed out so what i can do is i can show you right now i need to actually um I need to do a video on my baby account soon. I was kind of waiting until when I do the opening. The 
<laughs> you just wanted a nebula drone. <laughs> okay, hold on a second. Hmm. Might as well collect that right now. Okay, so this is my uh, baby account. So we're going to take a look at this here. So you saw when I, um, you know, when I was kind of critiquing, reviewing the other hangers, getting all the robots to like the same level, weapons higher level as well. So you can see that's what I've done here. Um, one of the things I mentioned was, uh, you know, to really focus on your tanks first. Uh, not so much range. So if you take a look at my hanger, really, I don't have that much range. Okay, so this is a low level account. I mean, obviously, <laughs> MK1, we're in Master 1 too. But uh, the only range I have is the Aljung with Avengers. Everything else is close range. So I have like Corona Storm, which is going to change. I'm not leveling anything up here. We've got Blaze Igniter on the Phantom. We've got Cryo Igniters on the Leech. Fenrir has Tehran Redeemers. And, you know, I mentioned with like my, uh, my Titan, the way I upgrade things, uh, which, I mean, I have actually some platinum here, but you can see, I've, so you see how I split all of it up, 10, 10, 10. So I have some speed, I have blast wave, durability, defense points. And then what I do, like I said, you know, I tend to focus on my uh, alpha weapons first and then retaliators, but notice how they... They're leveled up like across the board. So if one weapon falls off, like gets blown off, I can, uh, you know, rely on the other two to do decent amount of damage. Pretty much the same as the one that just got blown off. That's the whole point of that. Um, I focused on my antimatter reactors, uh, plated armor here. So I'm trying to get all of my weapons and stuff to level 20. We have 71, so I might as well do this now. You guys can see. You could also wait for the 25%, but I'll use that up just for the demonstration. Okay, so we have that. Another option would have been to focus on the modules, but I really want to get all of these to level 20 first. And then when all of these are le to level 20, I'm going to focus on my modules again, starting with the antimatter reactors. So I'm going to max these two out first, and then I'm going to max these out. So once I have my weapons my modules maxed out i'm actually not going to level up the author because at this point i think the author's starting to get phased out um then depending on what i possibly win through the event i mean it could be a titan i don't know um that might dictate what i upgrade next okay so we have uh we have that um the other thing too Again, I have not spent any money on this account. I know players will jump to the conclusion, well, how did you get these coins? So I got these coins through the arena. Okay, so we had to complete those tasks. That's how I got this, all for free. Uh, we also have ads and stuff, which I watch. Well, I try to watch every day. I don't know if we have any here. I think I watched some earlier. Oh, we have this. So yeah, I watch ads, I pick up this. And over time it builds up. So that's kind of how I got that. We also have coins from here. Uh, I think I watched those already. Yeah, you have these coins here. Uh, what? Oh, this morning I logged in to see the drone chips. So the uh, video which I put out on the Revenant and the Favnir, where I show you guys what chips to go for. This is exactly what I do, like every morning, well, not every morning, when I get a chance, I log in just to see what chips they are, and I will purchase it. Just to give you an idea, so I'm going for on repair unit defense, you guys know, like on a, you know, I have a nebula drone on, this is the Fenry, I believe. So we have the nebula drone, I'm going to get uh, purple chips, so we, we need 10 of these. So how many do I have? I have eight here. I think I have another one somewhere else, but uh, I have nine. So what I would do then is I would combine these. When I get when I get uh, ten of these, then I will be able to combine. So I need to get two more, 
and then I will combine it for 200 and then I will have the purple chip so I will have one I'll have three purple chips but it doesn't end there because take a look at this see this on my damage absorber nine we've got this technically you want to do that so you uninstall that one and then you will see that I have 10 here okay so what I can do I don't want to do this right now because I want to save it for a video so I have 10 now if I combine it I will have a purple one and it will be the absorber and I would have done all of that for free no money spent whatsoever so this is why I'm showing you guys how to do these things because uh, if I show you how to make a strong revenant even though it's maxed out you will know exactly which chips to go for you will save a lot of gold that way and it's not just the chips it's like things like the drone like the modules and stuff you you know you know which modules to get which drone chips which pilot pilot skills uh any news about my ipad no uh, no it's still giving me i haven't actually tested it out the last time i tested it out was like a week or so ago just to see if that that weird buzzing noise whatever that beeping noise is still there it's still there sharpshooter a good drone uh so the only havoc the only drones that i go for like for high level play especially uh, nebula persephone paralysis uh, sometimes the beak I'm trying to think of like what other what other drones um, sometimes the barrel depends but if I had to pick two paralysis and nebula paralysis would be something for like a hawk and a nebula would be anything for like a tank oh and also I'm building uh havoc someone told me it's gonna take me for ages to build havoc well take a look at this we're almost out done our first havoc so when i get this havoc i'm gonna continue to build three more for my ravana in the meantime i am oops i think i'm leveling up a uh i think i was leveling up a igniter so i'm already planning for something like a typhon Uh, would I consider building uh, Brian? Yes, I would, but I wouldn't get it just yet because I don't have the chips for it. So it doesn't make sense for me to buy it. I want to get those chips first. I'm going to do it that way because uh, you never know. There might be another drone. For example, the, uh, the Iron Earth one, which might end up being really good. So, yeah. Who knows? You know, I might even end up winning one of those from an event or something. So... What I, what I would do in this kind of situation, I'm trying to get the chips for this. Make sure that I get all the purple chips for this one. And then I'm going to start preparing for my next drone. Getting the chips for that. So I'm focusing entirely on drone chips. Because I don't really care about the... I know the drone's important, but if you don't have the chips, it's even worse. what is the best chip for the nebby you want to know to put on your retro uh zuby i would watch my um my revenant how to build the strong revenant watch that video because i go through all the chips for it okay so hold on a second Let's just do this I'm just going back to the the BR account here. That way, if you guys have questions, at least I can show you certain things in my hangar. <laughs> Can't do that with the the baby account. For example, like you ask me about Luchador, obviously I can't do that because baby account doesn't have a Luchador. Uh, Daniel, will I be going on Reddit? Uh, well, the stream's going to be ending soon, so uh, not today. But you guys can let me know if this is a good idea. And like I said, I, maybe I can turn this into a Sunday thing. 
where our review hangers. Harsh, uh, the only problem that you can plan the hanger, but then remember that it will take months. That's why you need to know which uh, things to focus on. So, uh, let me let me give you an example. Okay, let's just unequip this. I'm trying to think uh, if this is the best example. Uh, let's see, we've got. Yeah, I think this would be a good this would be a good example. I'm just trying to think like ahead here, based on like if you got like this. So hold on a second. Just looking at my gold, I might have to request more gold on this account. <laughs> By the time I get to my dream hangers this weekend, it's gonna be down to like maybe 300. I tend to burn through a lot of gold for that uh, series. Okay, so let's just say, for example, you are thinking about building the Ravana. Okay, so that's... Um, you, you're going to build the Ravana, but at the same time, they have come out with a Typhon. So should you focus on the Typhon or should you focus on the Ravana? If you've just got the Ravana, focus on the Ravana. You wanna, what you want to do is you want to get the right uh, weapons first. Okay, so that is one thing you can focus on. So you may not have the Typhon, but that's okay because the Ravana has three medium slots, so you can always focus on this first. Uh, you will focus, uh, you know you want to focus on, for example, Havoc. So we'll put the Havoc on here. You want to focus on the things that are going to make that Typhon strong. So you need the weapons. So these are the things that you can start planning ahead, right? Always plan ahead. Okay, so let's just say you got your Havocs. And they came out with a Typhon. So all of a sudden the Ravana doesn't look so good now because, well, the Typhon has four. Well, that's okay because what you're doing... You can't get the, the type on because maybe you need money to buy vent coins or whatever the case may be. So that's fine because you've got the weapons, right? What works now on the Typhon? So you could go for uh, something like, well, I guess fortifies would be one thing, but last stand would probably be the other. So you will get a last stand. You focus on getting the last stand. You level this up. And uh, let's just say, I don't know, let's just say, for example, you got, I don't know, overdrives. So you'll get those overdrives, you want it through the event, you'll start leveling these up. Maybe you didn't get them, maybe it's balance unit, whatever the case may be. Focus on what would make that type one strong. So you would focus on the modules and, uh, you know, what makes the Typhon and the Ravana strong. Maybe it's a Nebula drone, maybe you don't have the Nebula drone, in fact, maybe you have... Um, maybe you have a discus, okay? You just know that you need square chips. So, you need square chips. Focus on these. So, you'll start buying those in the store. So, every day you, you log in. By the way, don't do the refresh thing. I'm just using this as an example. Let's see, we can... Let's just say one morning you log in and you see this. Or maybe you have gold to get this one. You buy that you have five of these you combine it you start building on the chips right so now so now what will happen is you've got the weapons you've got the modules you've got the drone chips um you're ready now to get the the type one but there's one thing right so the type one now comes to workshop but then you realize wait there's a fafnir now okay so the fafnir is out well guess what you've got three Havocs that you could put on your Favnia. Technically, you only need two uh, for the top. But you already have the weapon for the Fav uh, for the Favnia. You already have the last stand, which you can put on the Favnia. You could possibly put this on here as well. 
And you've also got the defense chips, which you could take from the drone to put onto that build. You get what I'm saying? Like you, maybe you won the Favnia afterwards from a giveaway or something or from the event by luck. So all of a sudden, you've now got your modules, you've got your uh, drone chips, you've got your weapons, which you can move to the next. So you've just skipped the Ravana pretty much. You've skipped the Typhon and you've gone straight to the Favnia. So what you're doing is you're planning ahead. So that's pretty much what I'm actually doing on my, on my baby account. That's what I'm doing. This is how I catch up. Yeah, you could use igniters too. You might have had igniters that you put on maybe your Fenrir. Yeah, 25% also helps too. That's a good point. If you are upgrading anything, um, especially like if it's silver, wait for the 25% uh, upgrade overdrives. Thanks, uh, Matt, uh, Matthews. Matthews, I think that's how you pronounce your name. Hi, she, uh, oh geez, Shireen. I know I probably butchered that name. Sorry. <laughs> um, let me just see. 16, right now, I wonder if you should wait for the 25 discount to go for it now since the 10. Uh, so, Matthews, yes, definitely wait for the 25% uh, if you're, if it's a Titan. Because Platinum's really hot. Well, it's, uh, it's still hard to get. Not as hard as it was before because we can actually get it from the, the black market now. I know it's a little bit, but a little bit is better than nothing. So uh, yeah, you definitely want to wait for the 25%. Uh, Eamon, so why don't I run my Hawk on my baby account? So what I found at level six, by the way, this is, I'll explain why I run things at MK3 when I show my videos and live streams. So. When I had my Hawk and my uh, Aljung at level 6, when I was comparing the gameplay, I was finding I was actually doing more damage with my level 6 Hawk, uh, Aljung rather, Avengers, than I was with the Hawk. So at level 6, at a lower level, the Aljung is actually um, better suited, you know, for players in the lower, like if you're only going at levels up to level 6 or so, I don't know about level 9, but I know at level 6, uh, the Aljung actually performs better than a Hawk. Um, if you're going to be maxing it out, or you're going to be leveling up, you have those bots in your hangar right now, you're leveling it up, then you want to focus on that Hawk, because that Hawk is hands down a lot stronger than that Aljung. It can do far more damage. So that's why when I show you guys videos, I show it or like live streams I tend to do it in M like at MK3 max because this way you guys know how it performs at max level and this way you can narrow down your builds and save gold and silver in the process because if I had to show you what works in the lower levels I'd be showing you the Aljung right and then you're gonna level it up and then you're gonna find wait a minute it's not that great when I run into these top players because they're all running Hawks so now you've just invested all like I mean, how much is that? That's like, probably that's well over a billion silver. If you're going to be maxing it out, you've just wasted it now. And even if you sold all of that, you wouldn't be getting all that silver back because uh, the conversion is really bad. Thank you, Julian. Uh, thank you, Gort. Which is better, Minos Squall or Luchador? I think the Luchador is stronger than the Minos. I think I would, like, I fear, put it this way, if I was going up against three of, like, three, three Minos and three Luchador, I would fear the Luchador group a lot more. So that's why I think the game's going to be moving in that direction. We don't, uh, there's a couple of signs that I'm seeing in the game. Um, so for example, if you look at, like, this hangar, well, this is not all the meta hangar, but if you look at, for example, these three, which are dominating uh, like Champion League right now. Arachi moves really fast. Revenant can teleport. Favnir is really fast in flight. And we have the Luchador, which can jump, you know, huge distances to get from like point A to point B. But we also have the Minos. 
If you start to watch like how the game is progressing, we're moving into an even faster era. So you have to kind of factor that in. Okay, so if you think the game's moving into a faster direction, how is that going to affect your Titans? So it's going to affect uh, probably your Sharangas, your Arthurs, your uh, Nodents. You know, those ones that are slightly slower, it's going to affect them. I'm not sure what the new bots are going to do. I need to, um, I actually have details of it, but I have to go over it. But I wouldn't be surprised if it's also uh, pretty fast, like it teleports or something. Because if it, if it does that, then, you know, we're starting to see that progression. And you have to kind of uh, make sure that you plan for that. Uh, you got the mirror mats and you've got the uh, Sharanga. You got the mirror mats. Um, okay, so Matthew's uh, the mirror mats I think will perform better than the Sharanga because you have the flight and also the stealth, which really helps. Um, you can get your damage in a lot quicker uh, from above to than something like the Sharanga, which you have to move out into the open basically with that. So I think if I was in your position, I would be leveling up the Miramets over the Shuranga. Um, as for like how much to level it up. Uh, it's a, you know what? It's a really tough call right now. I think focus on your weapons. Focus on your modules especially. Max, max out your modules before you max out your weapons. And then see how the game is at that point. If you find at that point that, you know, the Miramets isn't holding up that well against like the Luchadors, the Minos, and maybe there's another Titan, then you will have to shift to the next one. But at least you would have focused on something that you can move around and you haven't invested too much into it. Uh, Prime Knight, uh, is the Hangar review still going on? I'm answering questions right now, but yeah, this is the whole, the whole stream is about it. Subi. <laughs> After yeah, you started playing again by watching guys live stream, you also became a brawler. Okay, so my question to you, Zubi, are you finding that you are doing better now being a brawler compared to when you used to camp? I think that is the real question because I would say I would argue in like probably 80 90 percent of the time you will be a lot stronger because once you learn those brawler skills, you're not going back. You've got a taste of the damage, I'm assuming. You got the two anti-control. Oh, the Titan, uh, the Titan anti-control. That's a very good one to level up. Yeah. Yeah, so I would, yeah, Matthews, I would focus on those modules. Which mothership is good? So I was using the Mantis. So, um, you want to use, I know this is not maxed, it's not the other one. It has to do with how much it heals. I think Jack was saying that this is actually better than the other one. I just noticed, well, we've got a shooting star. I've never seen that before. Maybe I wasn't paying attention. Is that just random or is it coming from this side? You guys see, oh wait. Uh, no, we don't see any, I think it's just a random thing. Or is it the same spot? Now I'm waiting to see if there's a shooting star because i never seen... <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, because I see it like going across. <laughs> so, um, if you are running any kind of tanks, like um, Fenrir, Revenant, Luchador, you know, it has a lot of health. Uh, Nodens, this works really well. So the Mantis. The other one is more the orbital strike. So this one offers healing and it offers uh, Aegis shield. The other one, which is the Monarch. So this one here gives you the orbital strike and an Aegis, but you get no healing. So the other, I, I prefer the Mantis. Once, once, you are able, once you see how much healing you get from this, you're not gonna want to go back to the other one. Even for that extra damage, man, I don't know. Because sometimes, you know, you, especially when you play solo, there's a guy, like, 
Come on, dude. Heal me up. You're in the nodes. I'm right next to you. Well, you don't have to worry about that anymore because you got a mantis. Yeah. <laughs> Brian, I see what you did there. Where do I need to go with your hanger? TP it. That's my. Hey, wait a minute. That's my pilot ID. Brian, you know what? One time I did a, one time I did a giveaway. So this was when they just came out with pilot IDs. So I didn't really know what my own pilot ID was. I didn't pay attention to it, and I did a giveaway. I think it was on, it was on Twitch. Someone trolled me, and they actually looked up my uh, my hanger and my pilot ID, and they posted it as an entry on Twitch. So. <laughs> So I um, I took that down and then I gave that list to like Pixonic. <laughs> when I came back, they're like, wait a minute. They're like, you're a winner. I'm like, no. <laughs> I'm like, what do you mean? They're like, well, your pilot ID is on the list. I was like, oh, I didn't put it there. And then they said someone must have been trolling me. <laughs> so now that's since ever since then, I've memorized my uh, pilot ID. <laughs> <laughs> yeah they were trolling me with that <laughs> i was like because i didn't i didn't actually know what my pilot id because that was something new to the game and i didn't really think about it am i allowed to do the operation pass giveaway i'm not sure if i'm allowed i'd have to ask pixonic i know they don't give away things like um silver i have done gold giveaways before uh they don't allow platinum yeah <laughs> did i get the prize no i didn't get the prize <laughs> yeah sometimes i sometimes i do the giveaways and i'm like wait i don't even have this robot that's why you have you see me like a i have to do the stream on my uh, br account <laughs> because I'm giving like a robot or weapon that I actually don't have myself, Sunny. <laughs> Is one cloaking unit and two nuclear amplifiers good for the Favnir? Uh, I don't think I would use one cloaking. Because I think it's going to get triggered too early. I can see where you are going with that though. I think if you are going to do two nuclear amplifier, if I had a choice... I would rather run two nuclear amps and a last stand. Um, I've tried so many different, like, crazy stuff with the Favnir, man. So I've actually tried uh, three cloaking before. Anya with paralysis. And it, it kind of worked, but not quite. Um, I think the the setup that I put in, the, in my recent video is a lot stronger. Um, I've tried last stand and two anti-control because i thought well you know if i use anti-control players can't lock me down and that was that was okay uh but i wasn't doing the damage that i do with like this setup here um then i've also tried uh nitro units for the speed but the same thing you go down so fast it might work against low level players but <laughs> when you play against top players they're too smart man they they will wipe you out it's is a very big difference. Uh, Matthews, how much platinum do you need uh, to max out a Titan? I believe it's around 10,000 platinum, I think. I think, is it 10 or 11,000 platinum? I think it's, it's around there somewhere. <laughs> Someone's like, I got a retro revenant in a giveaway, but you forgot where you got that from. Maybe it was from my, it might have been from my giveaway, who knows. What is my opinion on the iDrone? I don't, I don't use the iDrone at all. I mean, I can take a look at it right now. I have to, uh, I have to remember because I... I don't actually uh, run that myself. Uh, I think it's okay for... So, something like this I would run maybe on a Hawk. 
on module use yeah i would i would use this so what you could do if you're going to run like a hawk uh you could use the eye with the on so you have on module use damage you could run let me just do this here hold on uh let's see so if we're a hawk i would run something like this so the on module use and then maybe two freezer chips so this is going to allow you to achieve that freeze state quicker so you can do the 20 percent additional damage you could also use lockdown as well so on module use damage freezer freezer and this you can decide what you want to go with i actually you know what this is a thing i never use drones with like weapons because the thing is some some of these weapons they fire all the time and i'm trying to sneak past the enemy and the stupid thing fires at the enemy i'm like man you just gave away my positioning <laughs> i end up getting killed because of it and or there's sometimes like before i was using it before i'm like who the heck is shooting me and every time i keep turning around it's my own drone gets me killed so that's why i'm like i don't use it anymore and even if i do use it i don't put a like a weapon thing on there i use it just for the the drone like the slots but you could yeah you could totally use that for like a hawk yep so uh aurora said he uses it on the hawk and it works really well do you run freezer on your uh for these circle i could i could see freezer or lockdown I'm trying to figure out what's going on. Uh, seems like a better Minos. How much better is Luchador than Minos? Um, I think it really depends on the weapons you are running to. It's it's an interesting one. I think you are right in that it's very similar. Like you run in, you have the reflector shield. So in that kind of sense, you are right. Um, I think if I'm dealing with more Titans in that confined space, then I think Luchador is a lot stronger. It's more tankier. You run Freeze on the Hawk with the Lockdown Pilot. Uh, so Mike, what do I think about the Repair Amplifier? Uh, I still need to test that. I was going to actually do a video on it, but then this weekend the test was really buggy. So I'm not even going to, I mean, I, wa I wanted to kind of cover the Fujin too, but it's like, you know, something I noticed with the Fujin on the test server too, I don't know if you guys caught it, but when I was kind of reviewing, preparing for a video, I was like, wait a minute. So I'm not sure if you guys caught this, but on the test server, we have two passive modules, but no active. So I couldn't even heal. So I'm like, okay, wait, you're making the Fujing strong, but then you're making it weak because now you can't heal. Is that supposed to be a bug or is that like what's actually going to happen? So, yeah, so like I, I don't, I don't want to do a video where it's like I'm showing something that it's like it's a bug. In other words. <laughs> Thanks for saving you millions of silver and gold anytime. Why do I have so many Kazakhs so I can sell equipment and stuff on here to keep things organized? I'll show you why. I've done this before. So let's just unequip this. Well, actually, I'm not going to do... Uh, we could do this. So if I... Let's just say I wanted to uh, sell this. I can't sell it. There are empty weapon slots on your hangar robots. Please fully equip your hangar robots before attempting to sell a weapon. So I can't sell that one weapon because I need to put a light weapon here. Let's see if it works now. I don't know if I have on the other slots though. Yep, yeah, so you see how? See what I mean? 
So if you have regular robots, <laughs> if you have like four Typhons or like four Spectres, you can't sell the one weapon until you put weapons on all of them. So a quick fix or way around it is to change, go to the cheapest bot, which will have a weapon on and it happens to be a Cossack. So that's why you will often see champion players have Cossacks in the hangar so that they can sell weapons and they don't have to put a weapon on every single weapon slot. Just pay 75,000. It's just cheaper. Cheaper and quicker. Um. Okay, so I think... I think we're gonna wrap things up here. Um, I'm hoping that this was able to somewhat help those players you guys can let me know what you think of this idea like once again because um you know i might turn this into a sunday thing because oftentimes i like i visit reddit and i see a lot of players struggling like they're not sure what things to build and i thought maybe i could hop on over to reddit every sunday and kind of do that with along with some gameplay uh if i'm able to fix like my ipad and stuff <laughs> You know what, I can actually connect my iPad to this PC. The only thing is the sound. There's no like game sounds. I need to figure that out. I spent so many hours like a couple of weeks ago and man, I couldn't figure it out. I think at one point I heard the sound and then it was gone. I'm like, what? <laughs> How about running? No, I wouldn't run Cinder on Arthur. So you, you only want to run Cinder on, on Titans that can move very fast because you need to get within 125 meters. So you can see it here. Uh, the only two Titans that can do that right now, uh, Luchador and Minos. So those two, if you have those Titans, then I would run Cinder on those. Oh, you like the thumbnail? <laughs> oh yeah, so I think I should answer that question because someone asked, like legit actually asking me what is wrong with this Ravana build? So what's wrong is first of all, you got three different weapons. Okay. But also the mechanics are very different. So for example, the Punisher, aside from having different distances, the Punisher fires straight. The igniter, you have to lead the target because um, of the way it fires. And also the cryo rockets, you have to kind of lead too, but it's different to the it's different to the igniter so instead of running all different weapons like this it makes more sense to focus on like three of the same so it makes it easier for you to focus on your one versus one battles so for example if you had three igniters you will know how to lead the target you will know that you need to get within 350 meters you don't have to think so like this kind of build i used to run this when i first started playing because i my thinking was okay the reload time is going to be different so i can benefit from that but trust me it's a lot harder than you think because you're thinking okay i gotta get within 500 meters so i can hit them with the punisher then i need to get within 350 so i can hit them with the igniter but then my if i fire all my weapons the cryos are gonna miss so you're actually making it a lot harder for yourself in order to um to play it so uh, yeah, that's why that's why you always see me run like three of the same weapons or four of the same weapons. It's so that I can focus on the one versus one. <laughs> that's your that pick is your build. Well, now you know. Now you know not to do it. Right now, you know, you can, um, so if the, those are the weapons you are running, focus on igniters, get, get two more. You will find, you will play your Ravana a lot better that way. Okay. So before we get going, thank you very much to Dark Warrior, Lone, Smiley, Togi, Deathro, Dominic, Kine, and Hammer for helping me to moderate today's live stream chat. Very much appreciated. And if they have YouTube channels, make sure to check them out. And uh, hold on a second here. I need to. I need to check out my um, my super chats. 
I need to thank thank you guys. So thank you very much to uh, Ion, to uh, Dare Bros, to Christian, to Steel, to Pranjit, to Erland, to uh, Tony, to uh, Logan, to Frederick, uh, to Julian, to Vic, and to Gort. Thank you so much, guys, for your uh, donations and your support. Very much appreciated. And also, thank you for reminding me to switch the screens. I will try to remember that. I've actually done that quite a few times during my live stream. It's because I got so many windows open. Man, I think I need another monitor. I'm, I'm using two monitors too, which is a crazy thing. Now now I understand why those... Uh, why <laughs> why those, uh, those streamers use three. It's because I can't see. I had like seven or eight windows open. But uh, yeah, out of the ones I mentioned, if they have YouTube channels, I know Tony does. Um, let's see. Maji Wizard have YouTube channels as well. Make sure to check them out. What is better, Nodens or Minos? Uh, I think if I was running one of those in the current meta, I would probably go for Minos. Because, okay, so if you run the Minos, try to go for the Mantis Mothership. You can use the Mantis to heal. Um, let's just see. Okay, so I think, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the live stream. Uh, if this is the first time you happen to drop by my YouTube channel, or live stream i hope you enjoyed today's live stream where i review your robots your builds your titans uh we didn't get into motherships your drones <laughs> i hope you guys found it helpful um i do also have a series going on right now where i take a look at um a particular bot um tomorrow or is it tomorrow yeah tomorrow it's going to be the hawk I'm, i still actually need to finish that video but we're going to take a look at the hawk um looking at things like uh, which pilot to go for which uh, pilot skills modules drone chips uh, drone so that you can kind of narrow down your builds um, that way you don't waste your silver your gold and uh, you know hopefully you guys find it helpful uh, if you would like me to continue uh, robot reviews or hangar reviews on sundays make sure to leave um, a comment uh, under this live stream also um, a thumbs up would be greatly appreciated as well. That lets me know that you guys are interested in this kind of content. And um, I think that should sum up everything. So thank you guys for watching. Stay safe. And until the next live stream, I will catch you guys later. Cheers, guys.